Hey John, I wanted to give you a quick update on how the process is going. I've got a uh, basic working template at the moment, uh, which I'm showing you at the moment here. Um, basically, you're going to start off with an import sheet. The At the moment, the way I have to do this one part of it is you would have to go to Dropbox and highlight and copy in just a good selection of uh, information you want to put in, but you would just grab it paste it right in uh, using our information at the moment. Once you do that on the worksheet, click on my import and it's going to automatically fill in most of the information all except for the payee. Now with the payee, I've got it set up to where there's a couple lists and you can do everything straight off of a drop down. Uh, to expedite for purpose of the video I do have the information I've done before that I'm going to just copy and paste in over it and you'll see that these are just me manually coding in off the description once I fill in the payee there is a lookup that you'd have to fill in a table real quick of what the payee is what the category should be once you do that you can go to your select transactions. You can play with the dating if you want to. It will pull all of the information over. And now I'm going to do from 85 forward on purpose, a little bit smaller amount. Click date, shrinks it down. I click my export because it tells me there's 16 rows. So once the information is done here, it's going to automatically export a file for me. I have it set up at the moment that I always go to a certain folder, and this is my exported file. So it gives me the information in the proper format. Now I'm going to pull up CS file, import, spreadsheet, choose transactions, choose the file. Tells me the name of it, knows I'm good then. Actually, we'll leave that on for you. Click next. Oop, it's because the file's still open. Close the file, of course. Then it's going to pull up your information here. You're going to click off the top row. And then once you've done the mapping and you save it one time, that's all you'd have to do. You click next. You were going to reconfirm the bank. Good. Next. You'd have your different payee, everything else. If I go back here and if I chose to skip over all this stuff, because you know if, if you know it's 100 percent correct, you don't have to go through these steps. But it's a good idea to go through it first. Um, then your vendors. So you've been successful on all of those. Click finish. And the 16 transactions all went into the system. So I still have a little bit of cleanup left to do to make it a little bit nicer, shrink it down, but now at least I've got the function portion of it and I have been able to successfully pull the uh, data straight into Accounting CS.